Yellowstone National Park is growing a new thermal area. MTN's John Shearer dropped by the park before it closed for the fall to check out this new hot spot that's way off the beaten path. This new thermal area is so deep in the backcountry, it took satellites to spot the telltale signs. The heat and uh, carbon dioxide. But it emerged slowly, showing up in aerial and satellite photos over about 15 years. This is a new thermal area that's really still developing. What you see here is an area where trees and other plants have been killed by high temperatures and caustic chemicals boiling up from underground. That's exactly what's happening in a new thermal area near Turn Lake. You could see places where the trees had fallen and the underside of the tree that's facing the ground was sort of scorched. Poland, Hungerford, and a few others flew near the new site by helicopter in August, then hiked in the final few miles. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty, I, I felt an, an excitement, but also kind of a wonder that, you know, here we are at this new place that has really not been described, at least by people on the ground. That is science speak, which means they were the first people to ever walk right up and see this new feature. You do have the sense of like, wow, this is this is new. And uh, and you, you wonder what some of the, the early explorers or, or Native Americans that lived in the area must have thought when they saw these places for the first time. It's also a beautiful area, so it's nice to be on those trails back there. At Canyon, just a 15 mile hike or so out that direction from one of Yellowstone's newest thermal features, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. And researchers say there are no water features at this new hotspot just yet, but they know that there are some steam vents. Also, the ground is very hot, spongy, and in some spots, it's soft enough to sink in and get burned.